everybody welcome back to another vlog it is sunday today and we just had drew's family in town for the last like four days it was honestly so much fun and we're genuinely devastated <laughs> that they're gone it was drew's mom his sister and his two nieces and we just had so so much fun we went to disneyland we went all over la we did all the things all the shopping all the eating etc and now they're headed back to arizona and we are on our little sunday fun day if you will sunday fun day in your 30s is a little different than sunday fun day in your 20s if i were in my 20s i would be mm, three to four mimosas deep right now at brunch but we're hung over but today um we're actually headed to the farmer's market we're gonna go grocery shopping we're gonna pick up some coffee some bagels and also my outfit for today was styled by drew's niece she made me promise that i was gonna wear this outfit and let you all know that she picked it out just so you know it's styled by her and tomorrow is actually halloween so the vlogs actually are back up to like more current times it used to be like a, a week or two delayed but that was just so i could have time to take time offline when drew's family was here and it was lovely and we've had like so much company this week or this month my mom came his family came we've done a ton of like social stuff so we're ready to just like chill for a little bit but anyways yeah come along with us and drew did in fact rinse off my car this morning but I think he made it worse, so maybe we'll get a the car dirt, wash the later. The dirt is gone. The dirt's gone, now it's just water. got this bagel called a cheddy wop and it has like cheddar bacon egg and then he put a hash brown on it you can like make your bagel sandwich heavy and put a hash brown so it looks pretty nice and then i got my usual blueberry bagel strawberry cream cheese and then i got a little hash brown on the side and we got our alfred what a fantastic sunday we're outside of the alfred tea room we used to come here all the time when we were tourists and i would like take pictures here and stuff like for instagram those were the days all right we're back home now we ended up just deciding we just like we're so tired it's been a long few days but like full of so much joy um but we just need to like relax but before we do we're actually gonna vote um it's our first time voting again in california since we moved from arizona we have our mail-in ballots we're gonna drop those off you have to drop them in like a designated official ballot box in case you haven't um please 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 register to vote and vote in all of your elections it's so important it's like the only way we can make actual change happen or one of the most powerful ways to make change happen i would say so we're gonna make Make sure that we're like reading through everything we're gonna vote we're gonna drop off our ballots because if there's something about life <laughs> that you don't enjoy um you know speak up use your voice so that is what we're gonna do next check out some voter guides do our research fill out our ballots and then drop them off at a ballot box and then probably like order some groceries honestly because <laughs> feeling a little lazy here's a better look at my outfit by the way this is my neighbor's child is screaming um this is it here is the look styled by my niece love to see it dun, da, da, dun. we did it did you sign and date the envelope yes did you put your ballot in this envelope yes 
All right, time to go cast our vote. Yay! We voted. We voted. I hate that I vlog and there are like so many vloggers that I see that can put their camera on a ledge. And like if I put a camera <laughs> on a ledge and I stand up, I have to stand like way back because I'm tall. Anyways, I'm excited because I can now put on my I voted sticker. Love to see it. Make sure you vote. Anyways, okay. Got our cleaning done. We cleaned this morning when Drew's family left. So that's all done. We got like our laundry going. We've already washed like the bedding and the towels from our guests. We're just having a very successful Sunday. So I think what's next is like, it has to be like Halloween movies or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. And a nap time. Duh. And a nap time. I think like maybe Halloween Town or something like that needs to happen. And maybe we'll get like a sweet treat or something pumpkin-y or something. But Drew said he's over pumpkin and he's over fall and he's ready for Christmas. If anyone else is feeling the same way, let us know, but I'm still in the Halloween spirit. So we were walking through the Grove and they were playing, no wait, we were walking through the Disney store at Disneyland and they were playing Christmas music and that felt wrong. And then the Grove was starting to decorate for Christmas and that felt wrong. So maybe after tomorrow, we'll see. It's lunchtime now and I'm thinking I am going to, oh, this has become like my new favorite thing. I'm wearing this sweater. I. I feel a little bit like a school teacher right now, and I don't mean that as an insult. It's just that, um, this cardigan. I actually bought it because um, Drew and I went, when the Hocus Pocus 2 movie came out, we went to our friend's house and they had a party and we like all dressed up and I got this sweater because it looked like Allison's. So I've been like wearing it around the house and stuff. But anyways, I recently discovered, and who knows, this may have been like a thing for a long time, but I recently discovered these pesto chicken wrap thingies from Trader Joe's and oh my God, they're so good. It's like a chicken wrap with sun-dried tomatoes in it. And then it also has a pesto vinaigrette at the bottom that you like pour on it. Oh, and it has feta. <laughs> it's so good. Drew and I randomly tried one. I don't know, like the last time we were at Trader Joe's a few weeks ago and we went to Trader Joe's yesterday with his family to get some stuff for a cheese board and I have fallen in love. I got two of them this time. So this is gonna be my lunch. I'll probably have a couple chips and I'm ready for like a cozy fall evening. So funny, I saw this photo that I reposted on Instagram and I think I posted it a couple years ago as well. And like, that's how I feel. Like, I'm just so happy for all of you that are wearing so many cute costumes, but I will be in my pajamas and asleep by 9.30 p.m. tonight. And I couldn't be happier about it. <laughs> All right, I got my little sun-dried tomato chicken, feta wrap, pesto vinaigrette, and then I'm actually finishing up the rest of these cheddars that I got from when I was in England. These are so delicious. They're like a butterier, cheesy Ritz cracker, and they're freaking delicious. Spicy water of the day is Waterloo watermelon. And this is my lunch, simple and delicious. Sometimes it's like an elaborate salad, and sometimes it's this. I couldn't be happier about it. All right, let me do a little taste test here. Oh, let me just like get it down in there. All right, cheers. So good, you have to try this. It's really simple, but really delicious. Cheers. So spicy and so good. We're on the couch now. I have my Trader Joe's dark chocolate almond butter cups. I saw these at the checkout. I always, get snagged in by something from the checkout. Um, and this is honestly my dream situation because since having parosmia, peanut butter is one of those things that just tastes off. It's definitely better now. Like it was at first, I couldn't even eat it. I can eat it now, but it still just has like a little taste of something funky. Same with onions. Meat is fine now. I don't have a problem with meat or chicken or anything anymore. It's more just like strong flavors, like strong herbs or like garlic or onions, some spices, but I prefer almond butter now. So almond butter and then dark chocolate. I'm a dark chocolate girl through and through. So we'll have to see what these are like. Drew has his Takis and we're deciding on which 
Halloween movie to watch and we haven't watched Halloween Town yet so I feel like we have to. Like it feels like a rite of passage every year. Like you just have to watch it but we haven't watched any of the Scream movies which are my favorite because you have to rent them now which is stupid. And like I don't know streaming platforms like change everything every year so we'll have to decide but I think it's gonna be Halloween Town. I would watch Double Double Toil and Trouble but. You watched it when your mom was here. We tried watching it when my mom was here and my mom and Drew were both like, this fucking sucks, <laughs> like turn it off. And I was like, you you just had to be there. I don't know. I just am a fan of anything Mary-Kate and Ashley, but anyway, some people weren't appreciating it. So we have to compromise. Okay, this is, now this is dark chocolate. There's no wrapper on it. It looks seriously like black. Okay, let's try it. Yep, that is delicious. I've had, oh. I've had cashew butter cups, sunflower seed butter cups, almond butter cups, and peanut butter cups. Peanut butter is my favorite when it tastes right, but this is like a close second. Really delicious. Let's go to Halloween Town. Drop the beat. Oh. Yes. Watch this when it came out on Disney Channel. Yeah, did you? Hell yeah. It was like a big deal. This is how you party in your 30s. This vlog has really made me realize like how old and boring I am. Okay, bye. We're of course watching the Scream movies next because they're the most iconic Halloween movies in my opinion. And I have a vivid memory of watching the first Scream when I was in like probably fourth or fifth grade. <laughs> my friend's older sister was babysitting us and she let us watch it. And I started crying and my mom had to come pick me up. It traumatized me, but now it's one of my favorites. We just got our groceries delivered. It's 9 p.m. or 8.53 p.m. And um, I'm just keeping it real. I feel like I don't see a ton of this on social media. I see a lot of like really delicious, healthy cooked meals. And um, like today has been, just because my social battery is pretty low, like a very much recovery kind of day. Um, so I like easy lunch, you know, we went out earlier today and then I just like shut off. And this is my dinner is what I'm getting at. Um, some days you just make struggle meals. <laughs> And that's what I'm doing. Drew had two peanut butter sandwiches earlier and now I'm going to have a bowl of cereal. And yes, my dishwasher is running. And also our clean laundry that's folded up on the counter is also not getting put away tonight. So in case you needed to see that, see a little bit of real life, eating cereal at 9 p.m. for dinner and just, you know, only being able to do the bare minimum. There you go. This is the best cereal, by the way. If you're like a kid cereal lover, like I am, like I love Lucky Charms, Golden Grahams, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, all of that good stuff. Um, This one is phenomenal. <laughs> it's so good. Sometimes a bowl of cereal for dinner just really hits. It really does. If you're like me and you have to have the biggest spoon possible for your cereal, let me know because um, it's just a big spoon is absolutely required. Drew likes little spoons for his cereal but we won't, um, we won't talk about that. All right, cheers. You just gotta feed yourself, you know? It doesn't always have to be the most like elaborate thing. Just like nourish your body, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this was a phenomenal choice. All right, I'm joining you from bed with my messy bun. I have conditioner in my eyebrows right now because the lady who did my lashes told me that I should be sleeping with conditioner. I mean, sorry, she did my brows. I should be sleeping with conditioner in my brows because it helps it from like the lamination because it's basically like perm solution. Um, it just helps it from like frying your eyebrows. And last time my brows were a little bit crispy. So anyways, I'm in my final form as Drew would call it. I have my big t-shirt on, my nice comfy pajama pants. I'm actually gonna tuck into a new book and head to bed. We have my fan and my sound machine on in the background so we can hear both of those. I do apologize. We also have the skylight on, which is still like, that was like a peak quarantine purchase and we sleep with 
it every single night. You can't see it as much right now because the light is on, but gorgeous, love it. And the book that I'm gonna start tonight is called what is it called again? I'm actually torn between two books because I'm on a Colleen Hoover bender as we've mentioned before. So I'm either gonna start It Ends With Us or a book called Archer's Voice. And I've heard good things about both. Um, and I know that the It Ends With Us recently just had a like sequel release and it's called It Starts With Us. Um, and apparently it's like one of her best books, like those two. So I'm kind of thinking about starting that, but I've heard good things about Archer's Voice. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of those and you like them. But um, as a quick recap for the last book that I mentioned in the last vlog or a couple vlogs ago, it was called Reminders of Him. And I mentioned the fact that I kind of hated the main character. Like I found her really unlikable and like the situation that's specific to the book. Um, I just found her to be like, ooh. By the end of it, I like warmed up to the situation a little bit just because of like how the story played out. Again, I, I don't want to like spoil anything, but I still didn't like love her, but I definitely, I don't know. I feel like people make horrible mistakes. This obviously didn't happen in real life, but I just like, ooh. Even by the end of the book, I was like, seriously, I would never forgive her, but Anyways, now I'm gonna start my new book. I think I'm gonna go with Archer's Voice because then I can knock that one out of the way and then start the other two. I actually don't know anything about this at all. I've just heard people on TikTok talking about it. A best-selling romance between two tortured souls. Okay, sure. Oh my God, I'm like reading the book description. <laughs> so anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, I have an itchy eye. This um, this vlog is, is real and raw. It's honestly, we're going there. Um, maybe in the next vlog, I'll do that sort of like trend that I'm seeing people do where it's like vlogging like I'm on FaceTime all day. I've seen a lot of people do that. Most recently, my friend Sierra, and I loved her vlog. So maybe we'll do that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. Sending you a lot of love. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. From me and my kid. Good night.